Hey everyone, I've got another mechanism challenge for you. So again, with these, we've got our starting material, we've got our product, and we have the reaction conditions, and you need to provide the mechanism. So we need every, inter uh, every intermediate, and we need every single electron pushing arrow. So uh, don't be daunted by this. I know it looks like there's a lot going on, but honestly, this is a pretty straightforward one. Um, so just take a few minutes and give it a shot. Okay, so when we're trying to figure out the mechanism, we obviously are going to be looking at uh, at what we're, you know, we've got our substrate, what are we doing to it? What are we reacting it with? And so uh, DCM is solvent, right? We've got HF, we've got trifluoroacetic acid. So trifluoroacetic acid is an acid. It's a, a fa fairly strong acid. So um, that we know we're going to protonate something. So what is the most basic site on the molecule? Well, that is, uh, is going to be the carbonyl. So uh, let's have the carbonyl get protonated. So, uh, okay, we got to draw all this now. So here we are, we've got the carbonyl is now protonated, so there's that, and then nitrogen, and it is a five-membered ring, and then, oh, I haven't given myself quite enough room, uh, it might be okay, okay, and then the double bond there up to SI, right, we've got our silicon atom there. So we're there. Now, what can we do? We know that we're going to have a lot of activity up in this upper part of the molecule, right? So, um, and uh, we, we're making a six-membered ring, so there's going to be a ring closure. What, what if we can shuffle this proton around? What if we can push this uh, proton up the molecule? So what if we have this pi bond? Notice that the pi bond in the five-membered ring is gone. So uh, that's a pretty uh, firm indicator that it is going to uh, be involved, it is going to get, uh, get a proton here. So let's, uh, let's have this pi bond, grab that proton, neutralize that oxygen. So we're going to go back to the carbonyl there. Um, so let's draw that. And uh, so we've got boom, boom, carbonyl, here's N, and so now we've lost that pi bond. Now let's draw the rest. Okay, so, oh, uh, and uh, and we need to put a cation here. So which one is it going to go on? Obviously, it's going to go on the uh, tertiary carbon over the secondary carbon, right? So this is where the pi bond was. Uh, pi bond, grab that proton. We've got now our tertiary carbocation right there. So this is where we, uh, this is where HF comes in. We can uh, consider that a source of fluoride. And we know that uh, the fluoride ion loves to attack silicon, right? We've seen that a lot with uh, with our you know, with other um, protecting groups and things like that. So uh, that's where the silicon comes in. Notice that silicon is not present on the uh, product. So um, uh, yeah, silicon, an analog of carbon, uh, can uh, is is readily attacked by the fluoride. So if the fluoride attacks there we can have this bond go here, and then we can have this bond go here. Okay, so that is going to get us to our product, but let's just draw it in the configuration we have shown, just so that there is uh, a little more clarity. Um, so there's that, and... And so that is going to give us uh, boom, 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 and now the six-membered ring uh, right there, followed by, boom, boom, that vinyl group 
right? That vinyl group is now on there. So uh, this is a way that makes sense from what we've just drawn. Obviously, the true geometry looks a little more like this. Um, and the six-membered ring, it makes a lot of sense. This looks like it set us up for, uh, it looks like it, it, this was in a pseudo chair already. So it makes sense that we're going to get the chair. And then the five-membered ring uh, is, is uh, attached in that manner, right? We've got that, oh, they're all, they're fused at that one carbon. So um, that pretty simple, right? We had to notice that we we're going to be protonating something and that the carbonyl is what was going to be protonated. And then we just push that proton up over here onto that five-membered ring. And then that tertiary carbocation right there, right? Making this carbon electrophilic, giving it that positive charge, making it uh, ready to be attacked is what allows for the ring closure. So the fluoride goes and attacks silicon, we ship that, get that pi bond there in the vinyl group, and then that pi bond goes and uh, closes up that new six-membered ring. So uh, a pretty, uh, pretty short one, but definitely interesting. Uh, and that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.